Next, you'll want to retrieve or create the patient who wants to book an appointment. To avoid creating duplicate patients in a practice's health record system, you should always check if a patient requesting an appointment already exists. You can do this by submitting a GET request to the patient's endpoint. In this example, let's say we have someone named Peter Patient. We can check if Peter's already in the system by submitting a GET request that includes his name, email address, and any other relevant information to see if he's already in the provider system. By submitting this request, we can see that Peter Patient does in fact already exist. If we wanted to book an appointment for him, we could go ahead and make a note of his patient ID for later on. But let's go ahead and say we have a new patient named Pranav who wants to book an appointment. To check if Pranav is in the system, we can submit the same GET request here, but swapping out Peter's information for Pranav's. And when we submit this request, we'll see that there are no patients already in the system with Pranav's info. So now we can go ahead and submit a POST request to the patient's endpoint to create Pranav as a new patient. This time, we'll have a body object attached that includes Pranav's information, such as his phone number, date of birth, first and last name, and email. One thing you'll also want to note is that it requires a provider ID. If we know that Pranav wants to book with Dr. Daniela Dentist, we can use the provider ID we retrieved for her earlier on and submit that as part of the body object. When we submit this, we'll see that Pranav's patient record has been created successfully, and we'll want to make a note of his patient ID. We'll need this later on for booking an appointment. 